So first of all, let's start this reply link. Let's go one by one. And it's going to start at the very, very bottom. Let's make a new section called comments. And the first one is the reply link. And if we check back in our HTML in function, that the reply link is in a class called reply. Okay. But we actually don't really know. So what we can do is we can right click on this reply button, inspect element. And although it is in a class of reply, inside of that, there's an anchor tag called comment reply link. Let's copy that class, control C. And let's paste it right here and give it some stylings. So first of all, let's give it a background color of the body background, a color of white, a padding of 10 pixels, a margin of 20 pixels top and bottom, a font size of 17 pixels, now let's give some border radiuses of maybe 10 pixels. And finally, we'll have a padding, sorry, not padding, what am I doing? An opacity of 0 0.9. Now, why do we have this opacity of 0 0.9? Because we're going to have a hover effect. Let's add the transition. Okay. And let's do the reply the hover effect and here we're just going to go transition all and what's going to happen is an opacity change of one let's take a look now at the moment it look, does, looks a bit dodgy but it'll fix soon it looks all right now so now let's style each comment so once again let's right click and you can see here, each comment has a class of comments right there. So let's style that. Let's go li.com, it says dinner li, comment. And let's go ls none, we don't want any uh, bullet points. We want a margin, top to bottom again. So you can separate it. A background color of a gray color, very light gray, padding of 20 pixels, and a border radius of 15 pixels. Let's take a look, and there we go, that looks, that looks decent. Let's just add another comment to distinguish the two comments. Yes, yeah, so you see it's separated. Okay. So now let's let's style this the counter. If we inspect element, that's in a ID of comments. So let's go comments. And once again, we'll give it a background color of the body background. Color of white. Uh, margin to separate it from top and bottom. Font size of 20 pixels, padding, 5 pixels, 10 pixels, what else? We don't want any borders, just in case. Uh, let's see, actually no, we don't, we don't need that. Font weight normal. And let's take a look. Yeah, that looks good. Two comments. So, yep, and now, let's style some uh, depth. So, I want to show what happens here. If I, if I click reply, at the moment, it still stays at the bottom. We'll fix that later. But if we type in, this is a threaded comment, and go submit comment, it'll go below the admin, uh, this comment. But we can style this one again. Let's go inspect element. And using this tool, we can tell that all of the 
the thread commons. They have a class of depth in front. So what we can use here is it's inside the comment list. Um, and we can use this code here to get all of the classes with depth minus as a prefix. Let's just go margin, 20 pixels, 0, 0, and 40 pixels. So now if we look, there you can see it's much better. However, the depth of 1, we don't want that to move. So we can easily fix that by just going comment list depth 1, and we're just going margin left 0. That'll stick back. Cool. So that's the threaded comment. And uh, now let's style the header this part. Let's start with the header yet. Yeah. And we want the comment header to be a height of 50 pixels. Oops. Height 50 pixels. And take a look here. Um, and then we'll get the comment header, the image, which is the avatar. And what I want the image to do, I want the image, and at the moment you can't see the image, that's because I'm not connected to the internet. But if the next tutorial, when I'm connected to the internet, I'll show you that it actually, there's an image. Now what I want this to do is float that to the right. Let's do that right now, float right. And I want margin right, just a little bit of padding, and the top. Now remember that because, I'll show you here, the text is right below it, and this is floating, we need to clear both. Instead of adding a clear fix, I can just go comment list, the P, the, this is the main text. I'm just going to go clear both, as well a bit of margin will look a bit better. So let's take a look now. There we go, our image is now floated to the right. And let's continue. So next we have the, we want to style the, this one. So if we inspect element, it's in a class called FN. So let's style that. .fn and we're just going to go font size 30 pixels uh, font style normal, we don't want any italics or anything and we want the font family to be Oswald if not sans serif we'll take a look and that looks pretty good let's go back and continue styling. Now here, let's style this right here. The comment meta, if we inspect element, it's in a class called comment meta. And in here, let's go font size 15 pixels. And we want the color to be a buoy color. 979. Oops, let me see. Is this the right? I think it's like that. If we take a look. Yep. So we get a blue color right there. Now let's do the... Um, yeah, I think that's good for now. Let's style the comment form, shall we? So first of all, let's comment and style the... Okay, I want to show you something. If I log out, it's gonna log out right here. And if I look at the form, you can see it's there's some fields that I have to style, and it's not really in line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this and this a separate line. So let's do that now. And if we inspect element, let's get rid of this. Take a look at my name. 
it's in a class called author. So not author. It's it's inside a class called comment form author, and it's a label. And if you look at the email, that's inside a, a class of comment form email, and then there's comment form URL, and there's comment form comments. Now there's a little pattern here. All of these classes have a prefix of comment form, and then minus. So there's one thing I can do here is I can go class equals comment form and I'm going to style the label and all I'm going to do is just display block okay let's take a look and there we go so that's nice and now let's style the text area the input so once again it's in this and it's just the input and now uh, this big thing isn't an input that that's a that's what we call a text area. It's it's a text area, yep. So what we can do is control C that. Let's just call that text area. And here we're gonna add some stylings. We don't want a border. We want the font family to be Open Sans, which is the font that we installed. If not Sans Serif, and a width of one hundred percent, a border none, 